Do you have any idea how hard this is? Right, so I'm just gonna keep it a buck with you all. Um, I had no idea what to do for this week's video. I know last week we did the Styles Challenge. You know, those videos finally came out. But after that, you know, I just had um, a little sense of burnout because I was recording every day. And after that, it was just like, you know, mm, what's next? That was just something like that I've always wanted to do that I figured you all would like to do because it's cartoons. Everybody loves cartoons, adults and kids alike. But when it came to stuff that's next, that's when it hit me that um, I'm not really all that creative, in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, I'm good at bringing things to life, I'm like I'm talented in that regard, but coming up with something to do, that, that's an entirely different beast that I've always struggled with. I don't have you all there to give me, you know, constant feedback to see whether you like this, you don't like this, what can I fix and just go on immediately. I'm kind of just coming up with something and throwing it at you and hopefully you like it and that's not me. I like tailoring things to what you all like and what will help you specifically. Giving you all, you know, my experience. So I was just trying to come up with idea after idea, nothing sticking. It was pulling to, to even just try to come up with a concept in general. I was just in my room like, no, that won't work. This won't work. This is boring. This is generic. Why would they come to me for this? They can go to YouTube and see a better tutorial for that. They already do that. And then, you know, I just realized I was going through like a writer's block, a creator block. And that's when it kind of like dawned on me. You know, why don't I just use that? And the missing the action video, which I heard that you all liked. In that video, I was airing out like real frustrations. I was being having fun with it. But that was like a real life rant that I had when I got the news that my videos couldn't be posted. And while I was ranting, it, I wasn't like infuriated or anything. It was just I'm like, this would probably make a funny video. Like if I could just get on camera, like just going off. And it worked. Once I reached back to that, I noticed I should probably do that with what I'm feeling now. I'm going through a creative block. I've seen you all, you know, sometimes come across that. It doesn't really matter how much talent in the world you have if you have nothing to do with it. I've seen people struggle, I struggle with it all the time. Like, I want to do something, I have the itch to create, but I, I don't know what to do. And so, that's why I'm here today. And that's what this video is going to be about, even though it's already in the title. I'm going to be using my personal experience to give you all some tips of how to get past a creative block. Right, so my first point would be to switch it up. Always keep a wide array of things that you like and are good at so you can capitalize off it and you can never be classified as a one trick pony. Just because, oh, you're really good at sports or really good at science doesn't mean that has to be the only thing that you're good at or the only thing that you even like because realistically it's not the only thing that you like you're good at a bunch of different things you have a bunch of different interests and we're, that's naturally who we are as human beings even though something might be your favorite that doesn't mean it should be your only for instance my favorite thing to do with an art is drawing I draw portraits. That's something I'm really good at. That's something I've kind of mastered. It's pretty much my specialty. But after doing it for so long, it got boring to me. I did not want to do any more portraits. Even though, like, along the way, I was learning, I went from black and white with pencil to black and white with charcoal. So oil pastels, color pencil, all of that. Even when I was doing all that, it was like, I don't want to do portraits. I don't want to draw anymore. And that's when I started, you know, painting more. With painting, I was like, I not here to do what I was doing drawing I'm gonna do something more creative I want to tell stories I want to have concepts with the painting that I do with the paintings that I do and I got really good and comfortable at that but one oil painting is a lot of work and it can kind of burn you out and two I noticed that yeah now I'm painting but it's drawing it's painting they're always kind of like grouped together it's still traditional 2d visual art I was like hmm what else can I do? And so, like a year ago, because I was bored with the two things I became known for drawing and painting, I remembered 
when I was in college, I was on a quest to like master like every art form that I can get my hands on. And my third favorite, other than drawing and painting, was photography. A year ago, I picked up my camera again, and I started taking pictures, namely with probably your favorite staff, Miss Drea. She just hit me up one time because she knew I had a camera. It was like, let's shoot, and I was like, wow, that okay? Because I was going through. A block I didn't know what to do with photography it was like it clicked in. it was like sometimes you just needs to you need to get out there and just have some fun like let's shoot so me and Drea she had concepts that she wanted to do because she's a model and we just did a bunch of different shoots last year even then I noticed like okay I'm getting the hang of this again this is fun I'm getting like good again at this I want to expand it and to expand it you know I love Drea I can't really just keep doing it with her. I gotta explain to other people. Switch it up again. Start hitting up different people who want their pictures taken. Hey, you, you, how would you like to do this photo shoot? Hey, I'm expanding. Hey, I got this project and I think you're the best um, for it. Always, always evolve. Always switch things up and keep it expanded so one thing doesn't become dry, doesn't become boring. And really, you don't wanna be bored for something that you're great at. Like I know, like I hate being personally, I hate being boxed in. I hate when anything that's art, Mr. Daryl get on it. Now, granted, even though that's my job, like I can't complain too much at it, but like you'll see me at special events. I'm a little frustrated because I have multiple interests. I'm good at different things. When I was a kid, I was the smart one. I was good at academics. Art was something like I love to do. One of my favorite subject though, so like I was like good at social studies. I liked science. I was, and back then I'm not good anymore. I was good at math. So like when the, I didn't become like the art person until like I was in my twenties, and that was in college. And even in college, I was known for different things other than art. I was also an activist. I like to be known for that as well as art. Even now, me and my friends like have a bunch of different projects we talk about. Starting a YouTube channel, so this is practice. Also, like starting a podcast, and even like I co-host a radio show. I like to keep different things for me to do so that it always stays fresh. Because there's nothing worse than when something you love becomes something you hate because you do it so much over and over again. It becomes torture. So that's why I always suggest, you know, to try something new. If you found your thing, that's good. I'm not telling you to like never do it again because you might, you're gonna wanna return to it. But when you return to it, you want it to be fresh. You want, so when I went back to doing portraits, it was fun again for a while. Cause I'm like, oh, I haven't done this for a while. And so even though I'm still doing portraits, I also have all these different things that I've done in the meantime that I could return to that when this gets boring. When that gets boring, I could bounce to that. Always try something new. So you always have something in your arsenal for you to do.